This video is for Web3 developers who want to make their lives as easy as possible. I'll show you the biggest improvements from Ethers 5 to 6, and it has to do with numbers. In version 5, big number needs to be imported. And it gets imported from Ethers itself. But in v6, you don't need to import big number at all because we're not using Ethers big numbers anymore. We're using JavaScript big ints. So where in Ethers 5, you would initialize a big number like this. In Ethers 6, you can do this. Or you can do this. And here's where it gets interesting. In V5, adding, subtracting, dividing, and multiplying big numbers was super tedious. You had to actually call a function on the big number itself. But with JavaScript big numbers, we can use normal math operators. Now this doesn't seem too bad, but where it really got out of hand is where the order of operations mattered and there was parentheses. This is incredibly hard to read, but if you did the same thing using Ethers version 6, which uses JavaScript big ints, This is way, way easier to read. In V5, checking equality could also be annoying. Equals. Less than. Greater than or equal to. But in V6, we can now do this. Equals. Less than greater than or equal to. Now we could really do a deep dive into JavaScript big ints, but I just wanted to show you how much easier it is to use them with Ether 6 compared to using our big ints built into Ethers and Ethers 5. If you found this helpful, give this video a like and thumbs up. Let me know what else you would like me to cover, and I'll see you next time.